Ever since I first saw the brand glow recipe pop up on my Instagram feed, I knew I wasn't the target audience. It was too pink, too cute, too fruity to appeal to my middle-aged self. But when I was in New York, I saw a trial set containing the Watermelon Glow PHA BHA Pore Tight Toner, the Plum Plum Hyaluronic Serum, the Watermelon Glow Niacinamide Dew Drops, the Watermelon Glow Pink Juice Moisturizer, and the Avocado Melt Retinol Eye Cream. And I jumped at the chance to finally get an idea about the brand that apparently isn't going to go anywhere. How did the products convince me? Cute names and pinkish packaging design. If you're new here, welcome. I'm Dr. Anne, a physician passionate about skincare and well aging. Let's start with the Watermelon Glow PHA BHA Pore Tight Toner, which, no surprise given the name, claims to tighten the pores, whereas the Plum Plum Hyaluronic Serum claims to hydrate and plump the skin. The Niacinamide Dew Drops are a makeup skincare hybrid that claims to increase the skin's glow both immediately and long term due to the niacinamide. The Pink Juice Moisturizer is supposed to be a lightweight silky gel moisturizer, and the Avocado Melt Retinol Eye Cream claims to brighten, moisturize, firm, and depuff while being gentle on the skin. Going in order how you'd apply them, although you probably wouldn't use all of them in one routine, let's look at the texture ingredients and how to use the individual products now. Regarding the scent, most products have a distinct, slightly artificial fruity smell, especially the watermelon one, while the typical watermelon scent you get in sweets and such is one I don't particularly like, despite being a huge fan of watermelon itself. It just is a little sickly sweet. As it does disappear on the skin over time, though, it isn't a deal breaker. The plum scent, on the other hand, despite not really reminding me of plum, is much more subtle and to my personal taste, and the avocado eye cream has no noticeable scent at all. It comes no surprise that all products do contain perfume to reach that effect, although Glow Recipe claims on the website that it is always less than 0.5%. Texture-wise, the PHA plus BHA toner is clear and looks like water, but has a little body when spread, but no tackiness. I found it to work well with everything layered on top, so no issue with pilling. Despite calling itself a PHA plus BHA toner, it only contains a dedicated polyhydroxy acid, gluconolactone, but no actual salicylic acid. Instead, it has betaine salicylat, which contains salicylic acid connected to betaine, a moisturizer, and thus is more gentle than salicylic acid on its own, and willow bark extract, which also contains salicylates that are very close in structure to salicylic acid. This makes it gentler, but also is not enough for someone with acne that needs their 2% L-salicylic acid to keep the skin congestion-free. There's also glycerin and hyaluronic acid as humectants, and a few plant extracts that have more or less data on the effects behind them. The ones with probably the highest concentration are cactus extract and watermelon fruit extract, both claiming antioxidant and hydrating properties. The other noticeable ones are sugarcane extract, which might offer a little bit of additional exfoliation, and licorice root extract that is supposed to be skin brightening. The toner can be used both morning and night, and depending on your skin, probably daily if you feel the need for it, as it is very gentle. The Plum Plum Serum is firmer than expected. It feels like a liquid gel rather than a serum and stays tacky for around 3-5 to five minutes. That tackiness could pose an issue with causing other products applied on top to pill, but when I waited for the tackiness to subside, I did not experience any problems. The serum did a very good job at keeping my skin hydrated and plump though, I was really impressed with the results. Responsible for that hydrating effect are glycerin and several forms of hyaluronic acid as humectants, but it also contains phospholipids and pantothenic acid for soothing and repairing the skin, as well as SR spider polypeptide 1, which is a peptide produced through fermentation in E. coli that comes from a copy of a gene in a spider that codes for silk. It claims to smooth the skin, like silk, but whether this is more than a manufacturer claim, I can't say. It is a fun little fact though, so I didn't want to keep it from you. Like the other Glow Recipe products, you will find a bunch of different plant extracts as well, but none that particularly stood out to me. This serum can be used morning or night time, depending on your preference. I prefer it mornings, and can be used daily or even twice daily if needed. 
Pink Juice is a great description for the Watermelon Glow Pink Juice Moisturizer as it is a powder pink like lotion that could pass as fruit juice. It spreads like a dream without getting tacky and leaves the skin super soft, silky and hydrated. This texture makes it both suitable as serum for dry skin under a richer moisturizer or as moisturizer for combination to oily skin types. The main humectant is glycerin, paired with a little hyaluronic acid and other than that there are a lot of plant extracts as well as glutamic acid which acts as a humectant and beta-glucan which is soothing on the skin. From the plant extracts, mainly the Skin Brightening Licorice Root Extract stood out to me, but the name-giving Watermelon Fruit Extract rich in vitamins and antioxidants should also be mentioned. For me, this is a great daytime moisturizer for winter as it works well under my sunscreen and for nighttime during the warmer months due to its hydrating and lightweight texture. So, depending on your skin type, it can be used morning or night or even twice a day. I admit that the niacinamide dew drops left me a little confused, as they claim to be a skincare makeup hybrid, adding instant and long-term glow to the skin. I prefer to use my niacinamide at night before my tretinoin, and anything with makeup in the description seems to lend itself to morning use, so I was hesitant on when to best use it. The texture is more of a gel. It is even firmer than the pink juice moisturizer, but has a similar dusty pink color. After spreading it, it stays tacky for about 3 minutes and gives the skin a real dewiness and shine that I, as you know, absolutely can't stand. This extra glow tones down a bit over the course of a day, but keeps its kind of blurring effect that makes the skin look somewhat nicer than before. I had no issues with it pilling when combined with other products. Looking at the ingredient list, I can't say what is responsible for this glowy blurring effect, as there is glycerin and sodium hyaluronate as humectants, niacinamide with its many beneficial effects on the skin, and again a bunch of plant extracts as well as moringa seed oil. Despite the skincare slash makeup hybrid claim, I think it is suitable for use both morning and night, but if you want that extra glow, using it in the mornings would make more sense. For me, personally, the texture is a little too much like a gel cream rather than a serum, so it doesn't fit my routine as well as I'd like to, but if you use it in the mornings, it could easily replace your moisturizer if your skin isn't too dry. The Avocado Mel Retinol Eye Cream has no scent I can notice, but does contain fragrance, and is a rich green cream that at least slightly reminds me of guacamole, minus the spices, of course. There is avocado oil in the formula, which is supposed to be good for dry skins and rich in beneficial fatty acids and vitamins A, E and D, and that paired with the squalane and the shea butter explains the rich texture. Glycerin and hyaluronic acid act as humectants and, which surprised me, kaolin, a type of clay that acts as absorbent for excess sebum, nothing you usually see used around the eyes. The retinol used here comes with no percentage, so I can't give you an idea of the supposed strength and it is also encapsulated, meaning it comes in a coating of a lipid or fatty acid molecule. That means two things. A. It is supposed to be gentler, as it is released from its capsule over time, not everything at once. And B. The concentration given for the encapsulated retinol wouldn't be comparable to the concentration of a pure retinol, as it behaves differently. In summary, it seems to be a very gentle retinal eye cream in terms of irritation potential and my eyes did tolerate it very well, but I have been using retinal eye creams for years, so my skin is used to them. The retinol is paired with niacinamide, which is usually a good combination and again a variety of plant extract, for example coffee fruit extract, which contains antioxidants and several others. Usually retinol is supposed to be used at night as it isn't stable to UV exposure, but Glow Recipe states daytime use is fine as long as you wear it underneath SPF. Still, the rich texture for me makes this more of a nighttime product than something I would wear throughout the day, but one that is gentle enough to be used every night, even for beginners. As you can probably tell from my individual reviews, I have two favorites, the Plum Plum Hyaluronic Serum and the Pink Juice Moisturizer that I enjoy a lot and might eventually repurchase. The Avocado Melt Eye Cream is nice, but probably more suited at a younger audience than me who needs more retinal intensity to keep the under eyes looking fresh. And the same goes for the PHA plus BHA toner that is probably glossy if you just have a little congestion but can't deal with the 2% salicylic acid. The niacinamide dewdrops are best for those that want extra glow, but 
with the lack of information about the actual niacinamide concentration, I will probably stick to other serums. As I initially suspected, the brand is more targeted towards a younger, more playful audience and not middle-aged me who is drawn to clear, sciencey brands, but I admit I was surprised how much I liked many of their products. If your skin is sensitive though, I would be careful as the amount of different plant extracts might be problematic for you. Despite their pinkish and playful packaging, I actually liked most of the products from Glow Recipe that I tried. My favorites were the Plum Plum Hyaluronic Acid Serum and the Watermelon Glow Pink Juice Moisturizer, which leave the skin well hydrated and silky without being too heavy. The PHA plus BHA Pore Tight Toner is nice and hydrating, but I wouldn't expect too much exfoliation from it and the niacinamide dewdrops do offer a glowy and boring finish to those looking for that. I also think the Avocado Melt Retinol Eye Cream is a great gentle version for retinal beginners due to the use of encapsulated retinol. While it isn't a brand I would recommend if you are looking for actives, it is good supporting and hydrating skincare for people in their 20s to mid 30s. Only those prone to allergies or rosacea should be careful as each product contains a variety of plant extract and fragrant components that might lead to problems. If there's anything you would like to add, please do so in the comments below. I will link to my videos you might find interesting on the screen now and add links to my Instagram blog and Patreon account in the description box. See you soon. Bye!